Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. On today's episode, we're going to look at Psalm 28. Psalm 28. Follow along with me in your Bible as I read these verses. This is of David. To you, O Lord, I call. My rock, do not be deaf to me. For if you are silent to me, I will become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to you for help, when I lift my hands toward your holy sanctuary. Do not drag me away with the wicked and with those who work iniquity, who speak peace with their neighbors while evil is in their hearts. Requite them according to their work and according to the evil of their practices. Requite them according to the deeds of their hands. Repay them their recompense, because they do not regard the works of the Lord, nor the deeds of his hands. He will tear them down and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart exults, and with a song I shall thank him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving defense of his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd also and carry them forever. This passage, we have a really kind of well-rounded prayer of David that serves as a great example for us of prayer. In this uh, psalm, he first calls unto the Lord. He expresses his uh, trust in the Lord as he is calling to the Lord to care for him and to provide for him and to protect him from his enemies. He also prays for justice. He prays that the Lord will repay the evil for their wickedness. And then he praises the Lord for who he is. One of the great portions of this psalm is verse 6 and 7 where he says, Blessed be the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I am helped. Therefore my heart exults and with my song I shall thank him. He's simply praising the Lord for who he is. And then he prays for the people of God. He prays that the Lord would bless them, that the Lord would guide them. This is a great model of prayer for us, friends. And we should pray today. And I I pray that as this video ends, you will spend some time praying through this psalm. Pray and confess your trust in the Lord. In whatever ways you are needing deliverance or whatever trial you are going through that you are seeking the Lord's guidance through, pray and confess your trust in Him. Pray for justice. Of course, we see wickedness all around us. So pray that the Lord would bring justice. Second, pray, or third rather, praise the Lord for who he is. Just spend some time today praising the Lord for his greatness, exalting in him and who he is. And then pray for God's people. Take some time at the end of this video today to pray for our church. Pray that the Lord would bless us and that the Lord would guide us and that we would be faithful to follow his guidance. This is a great model for prayer for us, friends, and I hope that you will take some time to pray like David in this psalm. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.